Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today I'm going to be unveiling the Tamiya Neo Fighter Buggy Tour de France Edition. Yes, that's right, the Tour de France Edition. Uh, as many of you know, I tend to work box art for a lot of the vehicles that I build. Um, so here's the box art. This is what it should look like, but not today. All right, so without further ado, let me show you the Tour de France edition. Here we go. This is the Tour de France edition. Um, and I think it's actually turned out really, really well. The, the race um, has a lot of meaning for me, actually. Uh, I got introduced to the Tour de France probably in 2008. Um, and it wasn't long before that that my mom had passed away from cancer and I was kind of wondering what I wanted to do and I think it was in 2009 that it was advertised for the Ride to Conquer Cancer which was a 250 kilometer ride that went from Vancouver to Seattle and you raised m money for the BC Cancer Foundation. Well I went to uh, a get-together to find out more about it, ended up meeting some wonderful people, we, we created a team and in six years we managed to raise almost a quarter of a million dollars for the BC Cancer Foundation. In one of the years that I did the Ride to Conquer Cancer, I had a buddy who came with us. He was helping out. He was part of the team. He was dr driving the team car. Uh, he actually filmed the entire event with the drone, and I put together a video based on all of his footage, which in fact you can see here if you care to. Um, it's kind of a neat little thing where you can see how many people were a part of it, just what kind of an experience it was, because it truly was uh, one of the more, m most memorable things I have done uh, in, in my lifetime, that you know, just with the friendships and, and what we were able to, to accomplish uh, while we were doing this ride. Anyways, during that time period, I also started watching uh, the Tour de France. And for me, it's meant a great deal. Um, so I wanted to play, pay homage to the Tour. And I think this car has turned out fantastic. So, just so you can see, the yellow is prominent on this car because it represents the uh, leader jersey in the Tour de France. If you're wearing yellow, you're in the lead. Um, and ultimately, if you win, you're wearing that yellow jersey. The green stripes represent the sprinters uh, in the Tour. The white stripes represent the young riders in the Tour. And the king of the mountain, which I'm wearing, I was at the uh, Tour of California back in 2014, uh, I, so I bought this when I was when I was there. So the King of the Mountain jersey, which is what they call it, is the polka dot jersey. So I have painted the roof line uh, with the uh, King of the Mountain colors. So I'm the car itself is representing a number of jerseys from the ride, but the wing is representing some of the riders that I have followed over the years, and you know it's been pretty pretty cool. So you've got Michael Woods, and the names on here are not in any real particular order. Uh, we've got Michael Woods, who just happened this past Sunday to win his first Tour de France stage. So way to go, Michael. That is just awesome. Can't wait to see what you do further in the, in the ride. Uh, we've got Mark Cavendish. Mark I've followed for, for many years. Uh, in fact, it was kind of funny. I was at the Tour of California. I was at the front of the line waiting for him to come out of his trailer. I wanted to meet him, say hello. And I think I, w I stood there probably for 45 minutes to an hour. And when he came out of his trailer, I'm thinking, great, I get to see him. He went to the back of the line. Nobody said anything. He went to the back of the line. So I actually never got to meet him. But Mark, I know you've had to leave the tour, uh, abandon it due to a, a fall. But honestly, uh, thank you for everything that you've done. It's been an absolute joy to watch you over the years. And honestly, I know that the team is actually saying that they'd love to have you come back for next year so you can break that record because uh, Mark Cavendish is actually tied now for the most stage wins since Eddie Merckx at 34 stage wins. He only needs one more and he would be leading that category. So, Mark, I hope you actually will come back, but I understand if you, if you don't, but it would be so awesome to be able to see you ride again. Uh, then we've got Grant Thomas. 
another rider that I just enjoy watching. He wasn't in the tour this year, but that's okay. That These, these names have a lot of meaning to me. Uh, Chris Froome, another person that has won five tours, I think, at the, no, four, four or five tours at this point. And then we've got Julian Alaphilippe, uh, just another great rider that I've enjoyed following. Uh, we've got Wout Van Aert, uh, again, another rider I've enjoyed uh, watching. And then you've got Peter Sagan, and the only thing is that what's missing here is his flag. Sorry, I will get it, but I was having the difficulty finding the Slovakian flag. Uh, and then we've got Jens Voigt. Jens Voigt uh, is retired now, but he is so cool. Again, when I was at the uh, Tour, de Fran uh, Tour de France, when I was at the Tour of California, I actually have a, had a sign, and you can see it right here, that said, shut up legs. And that is one of his signature phrases. So when he was riding and things were starting to get painful, he'd be like, shut up legs, and, and he'd keep going. And that phrase kind of has stuck with a lot of people. So as you can see up here on the wing, I've put shut up legs, it seemed very appropriate, uh, but it was kind of cool because I had a sign, I'm standing on the side of this mountain, he's coming around the corner with a group, I, I see him and I'm like, you know, shut up legs, shut up legs, and I've, and I've got this nice sign. He turns, he sees the sign, and he gives me a thumbs up. And it was so cool because a lady afterwards came running up to me and goes, I, I've never seen that before. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, Jens has actually responded to, to a fan on the side. She goes, I've never seen them do that, him do that before. So I thought it was super, super cool that that had happened. Um, so Jens, and, and later I did get a, a photo of him, had a chance to speak with him. And again, I think here's a photo that uh, I, I took. Uh, and, and so it, it was an incredible uh, opportunity to be able to, you know, see Cav in action, see Peter Sagan in action, in fact, um, which was so cool. He had a, all the fans had these big heads on sticks at the finish line, and they're huge. Like, you know, you're talking three, four feet in terms of size of it for his head, and he'd always do something crazy at the end. And so Peter, you had an, another person I've enjoyed watching over the years and he's in the tour this year as well uh, in the sprinter category so that that is just awesome now the other thing that is on this car that i want to show you is it says uh driver maurice garen 1903 well i kind of did that as a homage homage to the very first uh tour de france which was in 1903 and maurice garen was the very first rider to win the Tour de France. So that's it has a lot of meaning, so it, I wanted to have that on the car as well. Now, I'll, the other thing is, if you notice, all of the lines um, go to the front of the nose, and as you can see on the nose, there's the Arc de Triomphe, which is where all the riders end up at the end of the ride. Um, and they go around two or three times uh, before the winner is declared. So I decided that with the car, why not have everything moving towards the front and we'll put the Arc de Triomphe at the front as well, so it's like we're all racing towards, towards the, uh, the end. So this car really has uh, a lot of meaning for me in so many ways. So, it's been great to, to build it. It's been great to come up with a design that actually, you know, really looks really good. Um, I, was imp I was rather impressed with how the stickers came. I ordered them from uh, MCI Decals. So the car itself, I think, has turned out so, so well. And of course, we've got the uh, Eiffel Tower on either side of the wing. And as I said, we've got the shut up legs. So one of the other things that I put on here is you'll see on the side, it says cobblestone racing. Um, it's not a thing, but it is because usually in the tour, there's one stage that is on cobblestones, which often could be extremely difficult. Uh, a lot of times riders are lost just because the wheels get stuck in between cobblestones. Um, so it's very challenging and it can really upset uh, the results of the ride depending on what goes on. The other thing was, you'll notice I've put Queen stage on either side. And again, just because this is sort of all rushing to the arc, uh, the Queen stage is known as the, one of the hardest stages of the ride. So I just thought I would put that on there too. 
So I haven't put any other stickers on this other than ones that were pretty much related to the Tour de France. The only one that maybe isn't quite uh, Tour de France related is the one on the bottom which says Ruler Pro Cycling Team. Do you measure up? Well, Ruler is the name of someone that is very special to somebody I know. Uh, and they came up with this cycling team a long time ago and when they were telling me about it and they thought they might like to have this on the car, I said yes, because it, may, it seemed very, very appropriate. So that is the only thing on here that is not really tour related, but very much tour related. Because man, do you measure up? Those riders go through some incredible challenges on the route. Anyway, that is the Tour de France edition. I hope you uh, in, enjoyed the video. I hope you liked what you see here. Uh, if you're a Tour fan, comment, uh, like, share. I'd uh, love to have some of these, even the riders, see this car. I don't think it's ever been done before in the RC world. Uh, and I'm just so stoked with how this has turned out. Uh, I'm going to, at the end of the video, uh, leave some uh, shots and stills of, of the stickering process and what I've done to the car and some kind of beauty shots as well. Uh, but other than that, I think that's, that is it. So until next time, we'll see you in another video. Allez, allez, allez!